When a boater calls and tells me that the hydraulic power unit runs, but the tabs don't move, the first thing I have him do is unplug the, the pump from the wire harness. And then we take a positive 12 volts and tie one end of it to the positive side of the battery. And then I would take the 12 volts and I'm going to test the solenoid valves. And the first valve we're going to test is we're going to put a positive 12 volts to the red wire. You're going to hear the click. That's the sound of a good solenoid valve opening. And then we're going to test the green one, which runs the starboard trim tab. And then we're going to test the motor in reverse, the yellow wire. And then the motor in forward, which is the blue wire. Now we're going to take the troubleshooting a little bit further and actually physically put one of the trim tabs down. And what I've done is I've taken my power wire and I've split it to make two little contacts and I'm going to simultaneously touch the blue wire to run the motor in forward. And now I'm going to touch the red wire and open the valve. And that would be putting the port trim tab down. Now we've concluded that the problem is not in the power unit. It's forward of the power unit. So it's either in the control switch or the quick disconnect plug. So we're going to check our pins here for corrosion on the plug. Now we're looking at the back of the power switch and we're going to conduct the similar test. We're going to put power to the blue wire and the red wire at the same time. And that should be putting your port tab down. Now just for a quick review, the boater called and said that the hydraulic power unit runs but the tabs don't move. But we've gone through the system step by step and have established that the valves open, the motor runs forward, the motor runs reverse, the trim tabs go up and down. Therefore I'm going to conclude that it was probably low voltage into your control switch.